Hmm, how fascinating. These rocks further prove my theory that the moon is in fact not made out of cheese, but just dirt and rocks and soil. Kind of like the Earth and other planets like Mercury, Venus, Mars. I wonder if I found something truly new, if they would name it after me. Would I become one of the greats? I just want to do something really amazing up here. One small step for man, one giant leap for asteroid Alex. Oh, hey, Neptune Natalie. What are you up to? Uh, finding anything cool? Hey, asteroid Alex. Nothing yet. Just normal rocks and dirt and stuff. I mean, that's pretty good. NASA sent us up here for four days to see what we could find. So I feel like we have to find something cool, right? It is pretty amazing up in space. It makes you wonder a lot of things, like I wonder how many stars there are. I wonder how many football fields wide the Earth is. <laughs> wonder if my mom and dad can see me from all the way up here. Hi, mom and dad! <laughs> I know, but I just want to be one of the people to find something really new and cool. You know, lately, I've been wondering why I'm even here, though. They already sent those guys to the moon. What makes my story unique? I wonder what my purpose here is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this trip was extraterrestrial, not existential. But to Natalie, what makes you think that your story isn't unique? You're one of the smartest people I know. You're doing amazing things every day and you're making all these great new discoveries here in space. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just wanted to be one of the people to walk on the moon. Hold the intergalactic phone. You think that just because God uses somebody else to accomplish something that he can't use you for something amazing as well? God has such a unique and beautiful plan for your life. He has a whole story that he's waiting to tell just for you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's kind of like the stars. God created all of them individually and he spent special time making them. It is just like the stars. And don't you think that you're more important than those stars? God has a unique purpose and plan for your life and a beautiful story that he's just waiting to tell. You're right. God did create us all with a unique story to tell. And maybe mine isn't being the first person on the moon, but at least I get to use my story to tell others about God. This week, we get to learn lots of cool ways to tell others about God through our stories. And I don't know about you, but I feel like we've already made a pretty sweet discovery this week. Friendship. <laughs> I appreciate that, Asteroid Alex, but I think we were already friends before the trip. Not you and me. I'm talking about Nova, the alien from the moon. What? There's an alien on this ship and you didn't tell me? Yes, and um, we're actually playing hide and go seek right now. She's a very good hider. You lost her? Okay, well, when you find her, I want to meet this Nova alien that you're calling our friend. Absolutely. Um, I'd be happy to introduce you right after I find her. Oh, Asteroid Alex, you are always getting into something. But she's absolutely right. God created us each to have a special job. And when we share our story with others, we get to tell others about God. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take this moon rock back to Professor Planet. See you later. 